Hello and welcome back. This time we have another uh, Codex DAO tournament uh, replay. Played between two players in the ch chat uh, division. Dialu is going to be playing against uh, Darth Roxer in this Tranquility's End in the first game where uh, Roxer is picking Chaos, Dialu is picking Imperial Guard. So let's check out how this one will go. Chaos starts on top of the map, opens up with a temple, one heretic, and two cultists. Standard opening. We'll engage forced labor shortly. Let's take a look at the other side of the map. Imperial Guard going for our infantry command. And uh Tech Priest. Follow with one guardsman squad. The tech priest, uh, the second tech priest goes for a power generator, while the field command only gets one guardsman so far. Not sure why. And immediately he goes for a heavy bolter turret instead of command squad. With just one guardsman, how can you capture all these resources? That's a uh, Pretty strange opener, in my opinion. And we're seeing us another heavy bolter turret. So early in the game, is he expecting some kind of raptor rush? But no, uh, the Froxer went for Chaos Lord instead, and slowly gets his building done with three heretics. Very very fast build up speed. Horse labor, of course, utilized at its maximum potential. One heretic is already near death, and he gets his cultists on the outermost uh, strategic points now. Chaos Lord is out. Still no sign of the command squad on the Imperial Guard end. Just one squad of guardsmen. This income is very very low, 2610 only at second minute, while Chaos is already at 4410. I. I'm not sure about this opening. This opening is very weak. You can argue that you have three uh, bolter turrets here, four bolter turrets here for defensive measure, but that's just not gonna work. If Chaos sees this, then all he needs to do is just hang back and uh, tech up. Once he gets enough uh, vehicles, he can simply walk past all these turrets. And I don't see a lot of army here, just two cultist squad and probably one tactical space marine, yes. One chaos space marine and one chaos lord. Chaos. What do we do, sir? And chaos lord goes to check the base and gets uh, fired upon by hippie bolter turrets. No reason to push it. Rockstar knows when to walk away. And uh, listening post gets upgraded, but the power income is very low. He needs to start on his generator soon, and he uh, abandons his uh, two, strate two uh, strategic points in the outer points. This is going to be a lot of a uh, lot of uh, resource being ignored. Potentially 48 res plus four, uh, 20 48 resource for uh, for uh, Death Rocks are here with full map control here. You have 30, 30 resource from the three critical points and uh, plus another 12 from each strategic point he controls if he managed to get the listening post up. Sees another turret here and realizes this is uh, probably a, a very hardcore turtling action going on. And sees no reason to delay tier 2. Goes tier 2 with just uh, two squads of uh, Space Marine and one Chaos Lord. And starts capturing his relic. It for chaos. Take and hold will start very soon, and uh, Chaos Lords are standing outside the base, staring at the strategic point here. Both points are not captured. Cultists will be on their way soon. Take and hold victory countdown begins. Chaos staring at insane map control now. 79 uh, 10 economy, while uh, Imperial Guard has uh, 74 30. 
spamming a lot of that generator here. However, uh, Chaos is already on tier 2 in a few seconds, maybe 20 seconds or so. And pretty sure the next option will be Defilers to take down those turrets in short order. I really can't see uh, Imperial Guard making a comeback here, even though they have a lot of power. They just started on tier 2. They're far behind and these turrets will be destroyed uh, pretty easily. Fifth turret being added. And uh, that's the amount, that's all the economy you can get now, 7440. Meanwhile, well, Rockstar is staring at 11020. That's insane. Take and hold victory also triggers for uh, strategic points controlled. If you control more than 66% of the strategic points in the map, you get a take and hold victory as well. This is not common. And Rockstar adds uh, Chaos Armory as well. Probably for uh, additional heavy weapons for the Space Marine squad, and still no sign of the Imperial Guard coming out of the base. Tier two at 66% adds another generator, the fifth and final generator here, and uh, six uh, heavy turrets here added to the middle. 70/40 economy, and uh, still no action going on. Chaos uh, gets the third generator done, probably will go Machine Call. No, he goes for Plasma Generator instead. Five the fourth one. Until take and hold 122, 30, soon to be 40. 74, 40 here uh, from Imperial Guard just hits tier 2, but uh, doesn't really have anything going on here. Uh, goes for Mechanized Command, but. No army at all, just one squad of guardsmen and uh, heavy bolters added on outranges the all these turrets. And yes, this is going to be a pretty straightforward match, I feel. These heavy bolters are pretty good range and de damage, and of course, uh, Rockstar has no reason to hold back now, he's just going to get ready to push. With the uh, machine pit going up, maybe he wants a defiler first before going in, but uh, as you can see, more and more heavy bolters are being added on, and that means uh, pretty soon uh, all these heavy bolters will be destroyed. Chaos uh, Sorcerer, moving a little bit ahead, probably checking for any minefields. Take and hold victory still counting down, 3 minutes 30 seconds. Purge the weak research complete, going for plasma pistol now. And uh, the final generator is being added on finally. 122.50 economy, pretty insane. Maybe getting defilers up soon, not enough resource yet. Decides to push out, we see chimeras here, uh, not really effective. But this uh, yeah, absorbing all the damage while the yeah, Space Marine activating their Fury for additional damage. Basically, they take more damage, but deals more damage at the same time. Pretty effective way. Chaos Lord finally falls under uh, Focus Fire. It's a uh, pretty hardcore turtling going on here, but the Imperial Guard... Not going to be able to break out. Not with just a Chimera spam, if I think about it. They still don't have any anti-vehicles. Another turret is being rebuilt. The last one is being replaced. There's uh, 2 minutes 30 seconds left uh, to the countdown and uh, there's really no reason to push here. If you ask me, you should just uh, go straight to tier 3 and uh, finish everything with predators maybe. And uh, Rockstar goes for Hell Talon instead. Hell Talon that will prove to be very effective. However, uh, there's really no pressure here. All critical locations are controlled by him. Take on hold victory already triggered for all strategic points, and Chimera will try to make a breakthrough. And there we go. So much anti vehicle. Uh, damage here for the Hell Talons and this Chimera 
it's not really effective at dealing any damage. Hell Talons uh, can simply fly over everything, of course, and this is pretty bad play from uh, Rockstar here, just <laughs> using one single Hell Talon on his attack. Should really just circle around, find an easy spot, like this mechanized command here is pretty undefended. And uh, finally the turrets are being upgraded to get uh, anti-vehicle missiles, but really it's unnecessary right now. One minute remaining and still no attempt to break out. And it looks like the game is going to be over very soon, with just a space marine firing outside against a, a wall of chimeras. Chaos Predator is out. No tier 3 of course, Hell Talon being repaired in the base. And yes, this is a pretty boring game, a waste of time. I think uh, I might not even cover this. Yes, 30 seconds to count down, and no, there won't be any attacks on the critical locations at all. Chaos going in, but not much excitement. Both games are pretty boring. I really shouldn't be covering this game at all, I think. Mistake, yeah. Because due to how boring the game is, I might not even cover game 2. Gotta go to sleep. And yes, uh, 6 seconds going on, no twist. It's just... Roaring tarts. Anyway, let's let's move on. And there's no reason to linger. Just doing my job. Second game. Probably more of the same. Tao Empire vs. Chaos. Mm, in Blood River. Pretty good map for a rush here. Chaos uh, Cultus can really overwhelm the Tau defenses if the Tau is not prepared for it. Especially when the Cultus uh, can upgrade themselves to detect uh, infiltrated units, so there will be no safe space for the stealth suits. So let's take a look. Uh, Tau starting at the bottom with a standard build order of uh, two Earthcast Builders, Barracks and two Stealth Suits, and uh, Jump Jet, Troop Inventory. What? A message to Steve to stop hate? I don't know. Um, what do you see here? Getting Chaos Armory. And uh, cultists, two cultists, three cultists, and one heretic. I don't know where the heretic is, but look at this. We have five cultists squad already. Just rushing straight into the chaos base, and uh, fruit squad responds pretty effectively, I must say. Lots of cultists going down, and a stealth suit probably will get the, the cannon upgrade. To contribute on defense pretty soon. One recruit's lost. Look at that, the amount of uh, cultists just slashing away at the recruits. They need reinforcing, and yes, uh, it should be easy to keep them alive. Second recruit squad is out. No reason to panic. But cultist still keeps pouring in. I. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. It might work. The first squad of crew is slowly getting chipped away, but we'll make it on a reinforced basis. And really, no real damage has been done yet. And it appears that, yes, uh, Dialu did not get any economy running. Basically, just one. Let's think post up 32 0. Let's take a look at the Tau economy, 44 tenths, slightly better. And he gets the Stealth Burst Cannon upgrade finally, to allow the Stealth Soup to contribute to this fight. It's somewhat effective, I must say, yes. It's somewhat effective, however, there's just no follow-up to this. They should really try to drop the uh, turret as well, in the chaos, from the chaos of this attack. One uh, force labor turret could really do some damage when done properly. 
This one, uh, I think it's just a matter of time before the cultist gets killed by the stealth team. But Dialu is slowly getting his economy up, I think. And he's 38-0 now. And he's full population. You can't really get a lot of cultists here. You just can't have five because each of them picks up two population cap. Unlike the uh, Space Marine Scouts. And it looks like Rockstar will have to struggle a little bit more because Blood River is just that type of map where uh, the opponents can really rush in fast. And uh, looks like Dialu doesn't spend any resource on the Unholy Site upgrade. Therefore, the cultists uh, are not able to detect the stealth team. Tries to capture this point while the attack is ongoing. <clears throat> not a wise decision. This squad will surely get killed. If they stand still for too long, this stealth team is giving chase right now. Fully reinforced, of course. Let's switch view. 3810 still. <coughs> this is one long circus. Not sure what's to, to expect from this play. I think um, it's a tough time for Tao to survive this. However, uh, a lot of resources are being used just to uh, replace the losses on the Altis. And already, these losses are starting to mount here. Crude Squad none, has still not wiped yet. In fact, they're getting stronger and stronger from this engagement. Look at the amount of resource uh, consumed, just keeping them reinforced. Both players are really struggling to uh, get any sort of advantage here. You know what's funny? Seems like the cultists, all five uh, squad of them, is about to get wiped here. No, it seems they've retreated. Imagine what happens once this crew start eating all this. Rockstar does not do so, which is a big mistake in my opinion. Maybe he wants to uh, rebuild his... Uh, Shattered economy, I can understand that. 44-0 for Dialu, 38-10 for Tau. And finally the rush of uh, Cultis is over, but it's time for the Tau to re-establish themselves. And start firing away with the, the burst cannon. As you can see here, Cultis uh, having very little armor and hit points to withstand a stealth burst cannon. Even just one stealth team uh, member can inflict a lot of damage if ignored. 3810 versus 50-zero economy, yes, this is pretty much a low economy game. Blood River. Rockstar captures two points, brings its economy to 50-zero, and looks like this will be the end of the battle here. The stealth team actually dealing a lot more damage now with the stealth uh, cannon upgrade, but did not reinforce at all. This cultist uh, will die surely, they, they can't face this kind of army. Not very exciting. And yes, it's going to go down pretty soon. All the cultist squad will go down. One uh, crude squad has taken a lot of casualties, so they are forced to reach, run around a bit, cut it around, and this. Uh, Okay, and this cult is, yes, we'll get wiped, a lot of resource being uh, wasted, and that's it, looks like GG. And thank you for watching, and that's it for the game between uh, Rockstar and Dial 2-0.